पूर्ण फल की प्राप्ति इसलिए दिखाते हैं कि हम हरिनाम कर रहे हैं भजन कर रहे हैं भक्ति कर रहे हैं हमारा आवेश भौतिकता में विश्व में और भौतिक चिंतन में जब तक डूबा हुआ है तब तक हमारा नामाभास इसलिए कहू नामाभास सदाई नामा पर ये बात दिखाई और शुद्ध नाम तब होगा जब हमारा आवेश भगवान में होगा जिस समय हमारा आवेश होता है और उस आवेश के साथ में हम नाम करते हैं वो शुद्ध नाम होता है परंतु भगवान में आवेश कहा है विरह आरती उत्कंठा नहीं है उस आरती उत्कंठा विरह भाव को लाने के लिए भागवत जी में प्रत्येक उपाख्यानों में वही बातें आई हमें और कुछ नहीं चाहिए चाहिए क्या विरह जो काम से तुम्हारे विरह की स्फूर्ति आरती उत्कंठा हो इसलिए प्रियम प्रिय व उषितम विषंदा प्रिय प्रियता का उदाहरण देते हुए कहा कि जैसे प्रियतमा प्रियतम के लिए हमेशा चिंता में तो भी रहती है जब प्रियतम कहीं बाहर रहे उसकी चिंता में कोई रहती है इसी तरह से निरंतर आवेश माय चिंतन तब शुद्ध भजन होगा इसलिए उससे पहले क्या है साधु संग भजन क्रिया अनर्थ निवृत्ति और निष्ठा तक दिखलाई दे इस पर रहते हुए हम आगे बढ़े तो कैसे चिंतन हो भगवान का चिंतन करने जाएंगे लीलाओं का चिंतन करने जाएंगे चिंतन होगा ही नहीं जो जबरदस्ती कुछ मन मारे तो भी नहीं होता है क्यों हम शरीर के द्वारा विवश हैं प्रकृति के काल के कर्म के द्वारा तो कैसे हो इसलिए श्री भक्ति में ठाकुर जी ने उस लोगों को प्रस्तुत कर दिया भजन रहस्य में कम से कम हरिणाम करते करते ही इन श्लोकों का चिंतन मनन हो जाए जैसे कि गंभीर में महाप्रभु हरिणाम कर रहे हैं भाव इसमें डूबे हुए तो उस समय कोई श्लोक पढ़ते हुए उस अर्थ का मनन कर रहे हैं चिंतन कर रहे हैं भाव में डूबे हुए महाप्रभु का भाव इसमें राधा भाव में तो उस भाव में डूब करके हरिणाम हरिणाम होते अर्थात हमें भी ऐसे ही हरिणाम करते समय उस श्लोकों का चिंतन हो रहा है कोई पदों का चिंतन हो रहा है कीर्तन आदि पदों और उसके साथ हरिणाम कर रहे हैं कम से कम भावना तो आएगी जैसे देखने को मिलता है कि छठीदास के पद में भाभी या शीला माए थे नूबने आर के हमारे राधा बली के सुधारी राधा जी कहती मैंने सोचा था इन तीन भुवन में सबके जीवन पर कोई ना कोई आइडिया हर एक स्त्री के जीवन में लड़की के जीवन में तो उनके पति के रूप में कोई ना कोई आ गए उनके सारे वो जीवन धारण करती है तो मेरे जीवन में भी मैं नहीं बचपन से ही एक बार आश्रय किया वो श्याम सुंदर से उस श्याम सुंदर को हमने आश्रय बनाया और उन्हीं में मन प्राण हृदय दिया सब कुछ समर्पण कर दिया परंतु जब वे बंसी बजाते थे वे रात 
राधा कैरेक्टर के भूखा थे कितना प्यार थे कितना प्रेम तो ये सब था और कृष्ण तो चले गए मथुरा और द्वारका अब तो कोई पक्षी में राधा राधा तो खाएगा नहीं अब इसके सारे इस जीवन में खड़ी रहूंगी जीव तो ये सभी बात का स्मरण कर राधा जी ये भी रह में तरफ रही पर वही इस भाव में डूब करके परिणाम करे और उस समय ये भाव आ जाए तो क्या हृदय कठोर बना रहेगा अपने आप पीछे कि हाँ हमारे जीवन का सहारा एक मात्र प्राधारण है कृष्ण है और तो कोई नहीं उस भाव में तो दाखों पर जाते और उस समय जो हरिणाम निकलेगा सही से निकलेगा इसलिए कहते कि ऐसे श्लोकों को तो उसमें क्या होता है कोई कोई श्लोक पढ़ते हुए उसका मनन करते और उस भाव में प्रयोग है नाम करते हैं तब एक दिव्य मधुर भाव आएगा इसलिए ठाकुर जी कहते हैं बिल्ल मंगल के श्लोक उठाकर निष्ठा भजन मई प्रसाद मधुर भंगी के द्वारा क्या कभी हमारे कभी होने तो इस प्रकार की उत्कंठा प्रार्थना भी उनसे प्रार्थना कर रहे परिणाम भी कर रहे नाम भजन करते करते इन प्रार्थना में क्या है तई प्रसन्न किमिया पर तई अप्रसन्न किमिया पर तुम्हारे प्रसन्न होने पर हमें दूसरों से क्या मतलब और यदि तुम प्रसन्न नहीं हुआ तो दूसरों को दूसरों की प्रसन्नता से हमें क्या मतलब कुछ भी नहीं निष्ठा में भावना में भजन में क्या बढ़ता है माला फेना बढ़ता है या भावना बढ़ती है अरे तिलक करना तो दस बार भी तिलक लगा ले तीन बार चौबीस घंटे भी तिलक लगा ले तो तिलक लगाना ही है भजन कीर्तन आरती संध्या परिक्रमा पूजा पाठ जो कुछ करना है जितना बनता है उतना तक करेंगे उससे आगे बढ़ेगा जितना है उतना ही जितना संभव है उतना कर पाएंगे पर तो बढ़ती क्या है हृदय की भावना बढ़ती है और भावना को ही देखी जाती है कि किसकी कितनी भावना है इसलिए भजन का उद्देश्य भाव की हो अभी बरसाना में श्री सिद्धांत महाराज जी ने एक श्लोक याद कराया बड़े दिनों में और एक ही श्लोक में सारी बातें कह दी सब प्रकार की इच्छा विलासाओं को व्यक्त कर दी जो कि बताया गया अभिमान परित्य भजन से कई श्लोक है कि अभिमान परित्य प्राकृत
Full seagull means yes, yago would he to the bed got that to get it sent. So the contradiction, Boma Ichidi, Yapdipu Buddhisha Lady Kari, Chanisha Vyeshu, Seva Gokara. I am this body composed of three gunas, false notions. What else am I? I am a member of this family. Color tradition begins with my wife. When we grow up, uh, as children, we identify very strongly with parents, especially mother. Young child is like a, an external part of the mother's body, till the age of two, let's say. Then family relatives and so on. Then boy meets girl, and that identification becomes very, very strong. I belong here. Because the sense is mine so strongly attracted. And then, Bauma Ichidi, I belong to my country, I am Russian, I am English, I will die for my country, I will give my life for my country. And then, Yatinta Buddhisha Leleni Kahichit Janesa Vigesha Seva Gokara. Performing religious rituals, instead of hearing from the sadhus, going to the holy places, taking bath, and not hearing from sadhu. Once we were Shri Gurde at Niroika in uh, Namri. Big, big procession. So Deity Kaat, Shri Gurde came and Deity Kaat came in one place. And most of the devotees went straight to Ganga to take bath. So Shri Gurde said, now we will see who wants to take bath in the nectar of Ganga and who wants to take bath in the nectar of Harikata. So these are the four aspects of false ego. Body, family, community and country, and religious ideological identification. As long as we're identifying with these things, then the mind must go there because it belongs there. What is the antidote? Shri Bhaktivinoda Thakur in Jaiva Dharma is explained that a Madhimadikari Madhimadikari is already chanting Namabhas, your name. How? Because he takes shelter at the lotus feet of pure devotee. Ishtare Kadadineshu, Balisheshu, Prisachicha. He recognizes four kinds of personality, the Supreme Lord. And then Prema Maitri Paupeksha. So for the Supreme Lord, pray. Anyabilash Prishanyam, Jnana Karmanyanam. Anukuliena Krishnam Shilnam. And then, Ishtare uh, Kadadineshu, his devotees. So with his devotees, Maitri, friendship, association with the devotees. And for the innocent, Balishesha, then Kripa. And for the envious, Upeksha. This is Yakaroti Samajimaha. This is the characteristic of Majimadikari. So, Majimadikari, he's worshipping the pure devotee. What is the difference between Majimadikari and Kanishta Adikari? Kanishta Adikari worships the Supreme Lord, not uh, Bhaktesha, the Chandyesha. He doesn't worship his devotees, and he doesn't worship others also, seeing that Super Soul is situated within the heart of everybody. But Majimadikari understands that I must worship the Lord in transcendental consciousness. Where does that transcendental consciousness come from? It comes from those who are in transcendental consciousness. That relationship with the Lord comes from those who are in relationship with the Lord. So, Thakur Bhaktivinoda explains that Majimadikari has four relationships, four moods towards, Majima, uh, towards pure devotee. Um, Atma Buddhi. Mm, what's that? Atma Buddhi. Yes, that one mm. he, he, First of all, he understands that Gurudev is more dear than my very life. He is my very self. He is my very soul. He is the soul of my soul. Gurudev Atma. He's not only my worshipable Lord, but he's the soul of my soul. Because my very reality is coming from Gurudev, all by grace of Gurudev. And then he has a relationship to Gurudev that he is my very dear family member. More dear than my wife, more dear than my children, more dear than my mother and my father and my grandmother and my grandmother, all these. <coughs> and then, Ijabudi, instead of giving all my energy, my life to my country, I give my energy and my life to my Gurudev. 
Anyway, we have to follow the laws of the country that we're living in. But our energy, our life, everything it belongs to Gurudev. We put that in his lotus feet. And yet he put the Hishanadeni Karanji. Not following religious rituals blindly, but hearing from Gurudev. Hearing from Gurudev. Everything is coming. Shravana Kirtan Vishnu Smarana. First we hear and then we can Kirtan and then Smarana. So by having these moves towards the pure devotee, we can become free from the false identification with body, family, community, and religious rituals, ideology, and so on. This is the natural way. That attraction frees us from these other identifications. Shri Gurudev has explained that there are stages in becoming absorbed in the holy name. First of all, somehow or other we become absorbed. In 1996, Shri Gurudev was giving uh, lectures from the introduction to Sri Bhajan Rahasya, Shri Sarasthi Prabhupada's introduction. So he said, devotees ask me what I should do, my mind is wandering when I'm chanting Hare Krishna. He said, no harm, if the, wonder, if the mind wanders, no harm. Just let it wander in brush. So this is first thing that somehow or other, why are we coming to these holy places? Uh, what is the benefit? When we go home, we're taking these impressions with us. So when we sit down to chant, we can remember, oh, I was in Prem Sarovar with the devotees. I was, this Hare Krishna came, this moon came, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. I was in Mansarova, such a moon there, such a beautiful place, such a beautiful Hare Krishna. So this is first stage, that somehow or other absorbing the mind. One day, Srila Gurudev was with devotees at end of Karti. And the devotees said, Gurudev, when we're with you, it's easy to control the mind. But when we go home, it is so difficult. We're living with family, with relatives, they are materialists, we have to go to work, we're surrounded, alcohol, meat, simple activities, so many distractions. What can we do? Gurudev said, bring your beads. Devotees brought their beads. And then Gurudev said, now we will chant together. So Gurudev was chanting on his beads, devotees sitting around him, and devotees chanting also. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Like this chanting. After some time, Gurudev said, So, your mind wandered? No, Gurudev. He said, No, how can it wander? Because we're chanting Hari Krishna together. I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me. When you go home, you sit down with your beads. And you think, now I am sitting with my Gurudev. <coughs> we are chanting Hare Krishna together on our knees. He is chanting and he is looking at me. And I am chanting and looking at, and looking at him. He said, in this way you can chant Hare Krishna. So the first stage is somehow or other absorb the mind. Some, in something, bit by bit. Then Shri Gurudev says, next step. Remembering the names of Krishna and the pastimes associated with those names. And especially he recommended Yashamati Nandana, Brajabharanagara, and Vibhavari Shesh. These are, Thakur Bhakti Vinod has put so many beautiful names of Krishna, connected with so many beautiful pastimes. And then Guru said, after that, when mind is becoming more stable, directly remembering pastimes, like our Pujapad Tinta Maharaj. He's explaining that we can remember shlokas, we re remember bhajans, and re meditate on the moods of those bhajans. Srila Gurudev, in the first chapter of Bhakti Rasayan, is explaining what is the method of bhajan of our previous acharyas, and previous means Gurudev also. He said they would take their beads, and one shloka, they would chant, meditate, chant one shloka, then half an hour meditating on the moods of those shlokas, deeply meditating. And then again coming, again chanting another shlok, again diving. He said in this way chanting, they would not know where the mind went. This is, he says, this is the method of meditation of our previous acharyas. And then after this, he said, Ashtakalya Smaran. But he said, this is very high stage. What is the, uh, 
What is the adhika? What is the qualification? Virakta, virakya. Uh, these nine, when these nine serpents are bow, when Rathi already coming, then Ashtika is smart. Otherwise, we become entrapped in material. If we're meditating on the confidential pastimes of Radha and Krishna, but in the heart we have so many material attachments, then we'll begin, begin to remember our own confidential pastimes, material pastimes, and we'll go down. So Gurudev wants that we become absorbed. He said, why are you so weak? Because you do not become absorbed. You can't become absorbed when you're chanting and forget everything around you. But by His mercy we become following in a very, very powerful process. Even though our practice is weak, we're empowered by Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who I call our Acharyas. Gurudev tells the story of the uh, sages in Dandakarani. They met with Ram Chandra. And they said, oh, this is a Gopa we're meditating on. So he said their practice was weak. Not as weak as yours, but weak. They were chanting Gopal Mantra for thousands of years. But by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, by the mercy of our Acharyas, in a few years, in a few, few short lifetimes, we can get complete perfection. Gurudev wants us in this life to come back, Nishta and Ruchi. This should be our goal, at least Nishta and Ruchi. And then taking birth amongst very exalted devotees, Bhakti Mel Thakur, a house is possible, Gurudev said, in another universe. Krishna will arrange everything. Then quickly going on, going on, taking birth in Gauralila, next birth taking birth, uh, birth in Krishna Lila, So very quickly, but simply we have to follow this process. Simply we have to pray to become absorbed, and especially Harinam, this is our main practice, and Shabda Kipta Vishnu Smarana. So, Gurudev wants us to become absorbed, and the more we have this desire, praying to him, so he will help us, all our Acharyas will help us. So much mercy from Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Shishi Radha Krishna, Hare Krishna, Vansha Kalpa Guru Vesha, Kibarasimhya On the morning walk, he said that until you are on the stage of Bob, you can't meditate on Master Kalyali. But on the other hand, we're hearing that even at this stage, we should meditate on some pastimes of Krishna. But every pastime of Krishna is contained within Master Kalyali. So, what is appropriate to meditate on, and what is not appropriate to meditate on, at our stage before we come to these higher levels? We're being told, you mentioned very nicely in your speech, how we should remember past times of Krishna, and yet we also have the warning not to meditate on Ashtra Kalyani. So what is appropriate and fits for our level and what is not to meditate while we change? <laughs>
more better, then we should at the same time do the manan, meditate on pastimes like Jasamati Nandan, Brajwara Nagar, Gopula Ranjan Khan, Gopi Parana Dhanu Madana Manohar, Kaliya Dhamana Vidhan. How Krishna's pastimes are uh, evolving one after another. Hmm? And then, when you are more situated in your Bhajan Paripati, then you should now hanker for those qualities which Bhava Bhakta has. Shanti, Abhyat Kalatvam. That there is a reason to get angry, yet you do not get angry. And these are the Bhava Lakshans. And then, when these qualities start developing in you, then you are there to enter into Krishna's Ashtakaliya pastimes while you are in the sadhana body. So, Pujbhad Bhakti Vedant by Panas Maharaj's question is that whenever you are remembering Krishna from the stage of chanting in front of Gurudev, thinking that you are sitting in front of Gurudev, you are doing Sasanga Bhajan, you are meditating on Krishna's pastimes and then when you are there on the top level, you are meditating on Ashtakali and Lila, where is the difference? Both are Krishna's pastimes. So here, the answer, what we heard from Gurudev is Mantra Mayo Vasana indicates most of the time Vaili Bhakti. Because in one Mantra Vasana, we cannot meditate on more than one pastime of Krishna. And also, when we say, when we chant our Gayatri, we say Namo, we say Swaha, this is all what? Mantra Mayu Vasana. But, on an advanced stage, when one after another, the Krishna's different pastimes, as soon as we say, Gopi Paranadhan, Madan Manohar, Kaliya Dhamana Vidhan. Huh? Madan Manohar, who is Krishna? He is Madan Mohan. Every, in, this, in this material world, everybody is seduced by, attracted by what? By Cupid. And who is attracted, who attracts Cupid also? Krishna. So Krishna is a Prakrat Kamdev. He is transcendental Cupid. And if he is transcendental Cupid, by his beautiful, beautiful form of Madan Mohan, he attracts the gopis. And, and uh, Gopi Paranadhan Madan Mohan Kaliya Daman Vidhan. And that, that he started from Kaliya Daman Lila. When he was standing on the hood of Kaliya, he first time attracted all the gopis. And so these first times are now running in chain, one after another. And, and, and then in the same Bhajan Yeshwapati Nandanda, Kirivar, uh, this Govarda Lila comes and we are jumping from one pastime to another, to another, to another. So this is what? Swarasikyu Pasna. And in Ashtakali Lila, always it is Swarasikyu Pasna, it is not Mantra Pasna. Okay, Maharaj? Hindi me? ये so, so Srila Deep Maharaj is trying to throw some more light to clarify the question of Srila Bhakti Vedanta by Khanas Maharaj. There, Ashtali Lila Smaran is for one who is starting from Nishant Lila and going right up to uh, Nishant again and one after another 
according to this bhajan rahasya this particular system he is meditating on krishna's different pastimes spontaneously there is no question of uh, physical endeavor or endeavor by mind which we see in mantra upasana mai upasana in mantra mai upasana huh? just like we are doing archan huh? if in archan mahaprabhu and nityanand are there then we are thinking of mahaprabhu and nityanand and if krishna is there we are thinking of krishna we cannot at, at the same time think of krishna's different pastimes simultaneously that is for the beginner but for one who is chanting ashtakali smaran he is a very advanced devotee and he is a bhavakta he is a bhavakta of course when we are doing our practice sometimes just like among our thousands of nama pranas we are chanting every day one nama pranas comes huh? and sometimes within those nama pranas one name which is almost pure who they say very high class of nama bhav or you can say shuddha naam you are stepping sometime on that shuddha naam uh, boundary then it comes through your mouth and similarly those who are beginners they cannot do swarasi to upasana huh? one after another krishna's past times comes without, without any distraction that is not possible so that is possible for stage who the person like bharat maharaj gurudev says that gurudev used to say that bharat maharaj was entering the state of bhava he was not a bhava bhakta he was entering the state of bhava hmm? so uh, aaj ka pravachan uh, shila bhakyan should he try to do this ashkali smaran is that your question my question is what particular pastimes can one who is at the beginning stage meditate on versus the pastimes that one is more advanced is qualified to meditate on and the way in which they describe and reveal <laughs> to say that when we say all the past time of Krishna, I mean, including Asakarya Lila, is now. All the killing of the demons, Mother Yashoda, binding Krishna, all this is not in Asakarya Lila. Asakarya Lila specifically refers to past times of which are on Madhuri Ras, Radha and Krishna, something with a no, current voice, but it's no very high level if you read any of the Govinda Lila Marita or no, Mahakavya, Varanda Mahakavya. It is describing always in connotation with Shimadhi Radhika. She's always somewhere in the picture. So, past times like no, Kaliya Daman or past times like Damodar Lila, they're not into including Asaka and Lila. It's a completely separate thing. So those pastimes, they seem to be much more appropriate for us. It is said if we meditate on these higher pastimes, then we may become, you know, bewildered. Like this famous verse of, you know, Taco Bactimidon, Adikara Nalonive, no, Sida Beabave.
कि हम किस कृष्ण को देखना चाहते हैं किस रूप में हम प्रेजेंट करेंगे हमें तो पता भी नहीं और लीला करके ऐसे चिंतन करेंगे तो इसलिए पहले के सारे प्रार्थनात्मक श्लोकों के द्वारा प्रणाम करते हैं भजन करते हैं दैन और निष्ठा जिस दैन भाव से निष्ठा रुचि हम से आसक्ति में पहुंच जाते हैं और आसक्ति से तब भजनीय वस्तु के प्रति अनुराग बढ़ता है उस समय जब अनुराग होता है धीरे धीरे तब वो चिंतन करेंगे तो सही हो जाए उससे पहले जो चिंतन कर रहा है वो खबर कर बना है क्यों उसके पहले तो अपने को पता ही नहीं कि मैं कौन हूँ और किस रूप में हमें भजन करना है इसलिए श्लोक सारे दिए हुए हैं भजन दर्ज समय प्रार्थनात्मक और सुखाली लीलाओं का चिंतन आसक्ति और भाव दशा में जा करके होना चाहिए उससे पहले नहीं होता हरे कृष्ण भजन रहस्य में बड़े बड़े स्पष्ट रूप से भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर जी ने दो तरह की प्रार्थनाओं को वर्णन किया है जात रति और और जात गति अजात गति की सारी प्रार्थनाओं को शिक्षा आज तक के पहले श्लोक से लेके आठवें श्लोक तक के साथ उसको जोड़ा है <laughs> तो चौथे याम तक पहले हम नाम से ही प्रार्थना करेंगे और कहेंगे परम विजय श्री कृष्ण संगीत दूसरे में हम छटपटा कर जाप करते समय कहेंगे कि नाम नाम कारी बहुना नीति सर्व शक्ति सत्य अर्पिता नियमित स्मरण काले भगवन में है मुझे नाम में क्यों अनुराग नहीं आ रहा हरे कृष्ण हरे क्यों नहीं अनुराग आ रहा है कि हमारी स्टेज क्या है जब वो स्टेज पे पहुंच गए तो फिर थर्ड स्टेज पे हो गए अरे भाई डिट बिकेम आई एंग्री ऑन यू स्लीपिंग <laughs> एंड आल द मंडलीज आर ट्राइंग टू वेक हिम अप उसको जगाना चाहती है ये चीज एक निशांत लीला का वो आजाद रतिक साधक जिसको अभी संबंध नहीं हुआ और जो अभी संसार के अंधेरे से ही नहीं जगा वो ये नहीं देख सकता निशांत लीला का हिस्सा वो इसको नहीं देख सकता वो क्या देखेगा वो देखेगा कि मेरे अंदर अभी ये सब चीजें क्यों नहीं है मैं गुरुदेव के साथ ये राजगोवर्धन परिक्रमा में गया था और गुरुदेव ने क्या बोला वो ये सुनेगा और जाग जाग करते समय गुरुदेव को देखेगा क्योंकि गुरुदेव दिव्य अप्राकट वस्तु है बस एक ही अप्राकट वस्तु हमारी आंखों के सामने है वो है हमारे गुरुदेव अभी तक जो हम वृंदावन भी देख रहे हैं वो अप्रकट रूपों में नहीं देख रहे हैं जो हम लेकिन इसकी जो हम परिक्रमा कर रहे हैं क्योंकि गुरुदेव के राज हैं इसलिए वो परिक्रमा अप्रकट है हम परिक्रमा का ध्यान कर सकते हैं परिक्रमा के स्थान की स्थलियों का ध्यान कर सकते हैं लेकिन प्रार्थना हमारी होगी आगे बढ़े ना जन्म ना जन्म ना सुंदरी कविता हे प्रभु मुझे ये चीजें नहीं चाहिए मैं जाप करता हूँ और सामने लड़की निकल गई है और दिमाग पे चढ़ गई है हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे प्लीज ऐसा नहीं करो प्रभु इसमें इससे निकालो इससे निकालो और जब हम आगे बढ़ते जाएंगे तो फिर पैंतवे छठे आयाम में अजाद रति और जाद रति में मर्जर होना शुरू हो जाए मिलन होना शुरू हो जाएगा उस समय आजाद रति वाला साधन भी लगभग ये सोचेगा क्या युग मेरे आंखों से आंसू क्यों नहीं हो रहे मेरे अब ये पॉजिटिव चीजें होनी शुरू हो जाएगी तो शुरुआत ना धनम जा सुनी चैन की प्रार्थना से होगी और उस प्रार्थना के साथ जब हम कीर्तन करेंगे तो इसमें सारे के सारे वो श्लोक दिए हुए हैं कि अजात रति को किस स्टेज पे कौन से श्लोक का भजन करना चाहिए और जो दूसरे श्लोक दिए हैं वो जात रति के लिए है हम अभी जात रति में नहीं है 
अगर हम ये समझते हैं तो हमें अपने को बाइफर्केट करके उसी हिसाब से साधन करना चाहिए हरे When you go home, or even now, you should always chant and remember the sweet pastimes of Krishna. Now, I myself am not yet Kanishka, I know that, or an absolute fact. Am I allowed to remember the Lila of Govardhan? Govardhan Lila. Krishna is there. It's a very, very intimate, sweet pastime of Krishna with Srimati Radhika and the gopis. The whole purpose of this Lila is so Krishna can meet with the gopis. When I'm chanting Hare Krishna, sitting there, can I remember that Gurudev is telling me this Leela? Can I remember this pastime or is this considered Aparat? Okay. Not, I'm not finished. We have told the Leela, we are telling the Leela, we are telling the Leela, we will not be able to listen to the Leela, we will be able to listen to the Leela, and we will be able to listen to the Leela. But, हम उन लीलाओं को चिंतन नहीं करेंगे जिन चिंतन को जिनका हमने श्रवण नहीं किया हुआ एक बात तो दूसरी बात ये है कि गुरुदेव ने हमें बताया है जो बताया है उसको ही श्रवण के रूप में करेंगे अभी हम कृष्ण ने तमाल के पेड़ पे चढ़ के कालिया ने ने छलांग मार दी और कालिया ने उनको पकड़ लिया कि हमने सुना है ये सारा का सारा हम चिंतन कर सकते हैं लेकिन अभी कृष्ण हमारे दिमाग पर नहीं आने वाले क्योंकि कृष्ण तो दिव्य वस्तु है अभी दिमाग हमारा दिमाग मेडिटेरियन है हमने जो सुना है उस पर चिंतन कर सकते हैं श्रवण रूप में चिंतन कर सकते हैं क्योंकि कलयुग में मेडिटेशन अलाउ नहीं है अभी उस लीला को चित्रण करने की जरूरत नहीं है चित्रण करेंगे तो समस्या पैदा हो जाएगी श्रवण वाली चीज को ध्यान में रखेंगे चित्रण हृदय साफ करने के बाद वो लीला श्रृंखलावत अपने आप दिखाई देने लग जाएगी ये हमारे आचार्य बड़े स्पष्ट रूप से बता रहे हैं If I hear from my Gurde and then I remember, Krishna let me go down, for example. Am I allowed to do this? Is it imagination? Yes. Is there some reality there? Yes, because I've heard from my Gurde. So we can we have to, we can't just well I can't imagine how anyone can just remember hearing and not perform any picture. We always form pictures. And if we don't perform transcendental, if we don't form pictures of what we heard from our birthday, how are we going to avoid forming pictures of the senses of the uh, objects of the senses? So birthday says when you're hearing, yes, a lot of it is imagination, but there's reality there. And as we continue to become absorbed, then that reality, the, the proportion of reality to imagination increases and increases. This is the process that I've that I've heard from, from Gurde and from those who have heard from Gurde also. Otherwise, how are we going to become absorbed in remembering pastimes? Hare Krishna. Gurudev would stress on the shloka. Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Mati Kriyatam Yeti Kotopi Lakyate. Tatra Lalyam Ekanam Mulyam Janmu Koti Suprati Nalam That it is better to associate with a sadhu who has this mati, Rasubhavit mati and the other things will happen automatically. We don't need to separately endeavor for Ashtakali Lila or become Sahaji Ababa Ji. Rather, we should try to buy that Rasabhavit Mati, which uh, for me, uh, Baba, after buying that, we, these, or, these pastimes will automatically come in our heart. One question. And he actually feels like that. In 1996 was Shri Gurudev's first world tour, and I very puffed up I didn't think I was puffed up, but in retrospect I know I was. I asked him, so Gurudev, when will you show me your, I'm sorry, when will you show me my spiritual form? When will you reveal my spiritual form? So he said, when that's all you want. 
In other words, when you like Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, and you have no time to look in the mirror because you're too busy burning in the anguish of feeling separation from Radharani. And that starts, Srila Gurudev said in his Vilapakus Manjali classes with the GBCs back in the early 90s, he said it all starts with um, Guru. Uh, just like if you get married, then all of a sudden you have so many new relatives. You know, once you have a wife, and you have a mother-in-law, and a sister-in-law, and a brother-in-law, and nephews and nieces. So, um, when we have a relationship with Guru, then we can have a relationship with Radharani and Krishna and everybody else. So, Gurudev said, unless you can feel that intense separation from Guru, you can never feel it with Radharani, and thus you can never do bhajan. So really, Guru Nista, that's why it's said that Guru Nista, or firm faith in Guru is the backbone of bhakti. Everything rests on that. Because can you imagine if you have a, your backbone is broken? You can't move at all. Everything depends on the backbone. So Guru Nista is the backbone of bhakti. So then, a na 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 na. And then last line, Sako Divan, uh, Sashvatam Kule. You did not take who did not appear in the dynasty of the devotees. How do we know? Like Brahma called you, and thus you took birth in... No, you did not take birth in the dynasty of the gopis, of the devotees. How do we know? Because you don't have any qualities of the devotees. If you're in a family, you're expected to have those qualities. And why... And Saka, why are we calling you Saka? Why, why are you our friend? How have you become our friend? You become our friend just because you don't have any good qualities, because you're a debauchee and you've stolen us away from our families. That's how you become our friend, but because of those qualities that you have, those nefarious qualities that you have. So very, very beautiful deep meanings. And then uh, we come to verse 5. Where the gopis are saying, O crest jewel of the Yadu dynasty, O beloved, your lotus hand grants fearlessness to those souls who, terrified by the cycle of birth and death, surrender to your lotus feet. Now it does sound a lot like on reverence, doesn't it? But it's not at all. O fulfiller of our desires, please place on our heads that very lotus hand which grants fearlessness and which, accept, which accepted both the hands of Lakshmi. So there's a lot of deep meanings here. And, um, oh beloved, your hand, just as it's with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, so being continuing from the previous verse, where they were um, pretending, not pretending, but um, appearing to address him as God, but it's called Shleshivakya in Sanskrit, which means sarcasm. There's two times that the gopis, they never think of him as God, but there's two times that the sarcasm of, of some connection with him as God comes out. One of those times is joking. Like, uh, as we mentioned yesterday, when Krishna, or as Gurudev mentioned yesterday, uh, when Krishna called the gopis with his flute, and then um, uh, they dropped everything and came to him, and he said, 